Earth Angel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Jennifer. We're going to do another pick a card reading today. Um, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you are landing on this reading, if the messages resonate with you, then this reading is for you. But we are currently, um, at the time of this recording, having all kinds of things going on astrologically as usual. But this, the energy of this reading is going to address um, everything that's coming through right now or the energies of that if you land on this at a different time. So we're in the, today is the full moon in Gemini and tomorrow we're moving into um, Venus in retrograde all the way through January 29th. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, as well and we have solstice coming up on the 21st um, all kinds of stuff going on I think mercury is going retrograde too tomorrow I'm not sure about that but something like that and some I think I even saw something with Chiron so for those of you interested in astrology there is a lot going on right now a lot moving a lot of a lot of opportunity I like to look at it like that there's a lot of energies moving and a lot of opportunity so Thank you all for joining me today. Thank you for being here. And I am so grateful for all of you. Thank you to those of you who are subscribed and who are liking and commenting. I really appreciate your presence here and it really helps the videos circulate and reach more people. So that's great. And I really appreciate you so much. And thank you to those of you who have donated and donated decks. And I really, really can't tell you like, I can't express how much, like every video, I just want to tell you how much I love you and I thank you all for everything, um, for all you're contributing here and on the planet. I really, really am grateful for all of you. So again, thank you for being here today. And what we're going to look at in this pick a card reading is um, we're going to look at the overall energies, kind of, I guess, for the period of about a month through the Venus retrograde period. Um, we're going to look to look at oracle cards for the overall energies and then we are going to draw from the tarot to see take a deeper look into love and career and kind of look at the overall blessings in this time period and coming through these energies and also I'll get some advice from spirit so that's kind of the um outline or agenda or game plan however you want to look at it for today so as usual, take your time picking a pile, um, whichever one you feel drawn to the most. And if you're drawn to more than one, that's also totally fine. <clears throat> it's okay to be drawn to more than one. There might be messages in more than one pile for you. And keep in mind, this is a collective general reading. So whatever doesn't resonate with you, please just rip clear and release it. Um, only, only keep and claim what feels right to you because your intuition is the highest guidance. So introducing the piles here, we have pile one with the Lemurian Quartz crystal. And pile two with the Lapis Lazuli, or Lazuli, still not sure how to say it. A heart. Um, so whether it's the pile or the stone that resonates with you, either way. And then this is the celestite tumbled stone. I don't know if you can see this well. It's got like a kind of a nice little line through it. I'm sure there's a name for that, but I don't know what it is. But it's celestite. So that is pile three. So pile one, pile two, pile three. I will, the timestamps are down below in the description box. So if you want to jump straight to your pile, the timestamps are down there. And if you um, would like a personal reading with me or private reading or light language transmission, all of that information and the donation information is all down in the description box as well. And of course, none of that is um, necessary. I am just so excited to be here and be sharing this with you and so grateful. Um, to have this chance to do this for you. I love doing readings and communing with spirit. So we'll see what comes through for you today. Um, take a deep breath. Uh, take your time deciding on the pile. Pause the video if you need to. I'll see you in your reading. Hello, pile one. Welcome to your reading. You chose the Lemurian Quartz Crystal. So 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the overall energies. I shuffled and uh, pre-drew these. So the overall energies for the month, and let me pull out your advice cards for later. So we're going to start with a Moonology deck, and I drew two cards from this deck. We have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Cancer, and it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Those are two good cards to start. Here, let me... And then from the, Lem the Lemurian deck, we've got healing. And journey to wholeness. Those two seem like they go together really well. Healing and journey to wholeness. And then from the Mermaid Oracle, we have Guide, a gentle mentor, a trustworthy ally. And falling in love, kissing the divine in another, in yourself. So it looks like maybe we're getting a little um, foreshadowing into the love reading or the love aspect of this of this reading. So these are really beautiful energies coming in for you. It looks like something you have been looking for clarity on. The answers are coming to you. Um, something about this Venus retrograde is what I'm hearing is bringing this about uh, maybe the Mercury retrograde in there too something some energy is kind of I'm almost picturing a um, not a boomerang but like a lasso like you sent out you know these questions or these requests and the answers are coming back to you in this retrograde period um, and there's go it's going to give you an opportunity. <clears throat> so you're going to receive this guidance. And this guidance is going to come through either an actual individual or some information you run across. Or from a friend, family member, you know, that's what I meant by individual. Or by an actual guide. Like you might have to tap in more um, to your guidance and you might hear your guides more clearly or communicate with them more clearly in whatever way that you do that. I'm feeling a lot of guidance coming in and that's where these answers are coming for, from and that is going to catalyze this healing process that's going to bring you into this journey of wholeness and falling in love with yourself all over again. <clears throat> I feel like there's like many places on the journey in life, even starting from a very young child where I think we have the experience of falling in love with ourselves. Hopefully, we all get to experience that at least once in a while. But I think we do. I think it's part of the process of growth and healing that we you know, continually move through in life. And I think through this process, through whatever guidance is coming, through whatever answers are coming for you in this really intense time period that we're going through, are going to bring in this deep healing and this journey into wholeness where you really feel so much more self-love. And for those of you who are in relationships or where relationships are coming in, there's going to be more, more available, more light available in your, in your love life, whether, it, like I said, whether it's self-love or with friends, family members, romantic partners, I'm seeing the sunshine this golden light coming through the clouds. That was going to bring, that brings us into wholeness. And when we come into this wholeness, we shine even more of this light. And this is all so healing for ourselves and for the planet. 
and this whole process is going to bring you into action or at least the desire for action and the guidance here is it's time to take it so if there is any resistance in you or hesitation when you feel this moment come in the next whatever month or so then this is spirit encouraging you to act on that it's very much coming up to be a time of action for you um, that's part of your healing process you know sometimes a lot of times the messages are to go within and we might get that later in this reading but a lot of times the messages are to go within and in this particular for the healing and in this particular case I feel like it's more about yes going within in the sense of listening being receptive receptive to the guidance whether it's coming from this third dimension like a person just channeling spirit unknowingly or knowingly or if it's coming from you know your inner guidance it's a time for listening and acting is what I'm hearing that is what's going to bring you into this wholeness and that's going to be the act of love through this courage to act on your own behalf to be guided and healed and step into this wholeness and this <clears throat> whatever you are creating next That's a really great start. I feel like, so these are the overall energies for this time period. And we're going to take a deeper look into the Unicorn Crystal Tarot to look at what might be coming for you in terms of love. Or if you aren't interested in love or don't have a love interest, um, we're going to be looking... You can apply this part of the reading to just relationships in general and just kind of adapt it, you know, take out any kind of romantic implications. So just giving it another shuffle. I did shuffle these, but... So let's see, for pile one, what is coming in terms of love? And relationships in the next month. So we have the Queen of Swords. See this cute little unicorn deck? So Queen of Swords in reverse. Temperance also came out in reverse. Actually, let's put these up here. Yes, we have uh, the Nine of Pentacles. And how did that? And I think it did come out in reverse. The Ten of Cups. In reverse. So it looks like <laughs> this is um, Venus in retrograde period is going to be a little challenging. I'm just, Venus, I should have said this in the introduction, but or if I did, I forget. Um, Venus is the planet that is ruling love and uh, money, those kind of blessings. But we're looking at the love part. And when it goes into retro retrograde, it can call love back in from a distance, but often it's a time of reflection. And it looks like you might be in a phase of, of deep reflection over love, either a current relationship, a one that you're in separation from, or just a reflection over what you want out of love and happiness in general. Um, I see you feeling very independent. The Nine of Pentacles feeling very in your power, like in your independence, in your um, freedom, 
this is a lot of times a card of someone who's single, but I also see, I'm getting the message as I'm looking at it today, is like, there's, you're just gonna have so much communication with your guides. Like I'm seeing the little bird and this unicorn talking to each other. So I feel like your guides and angels are really gonna be working with you at this time as a time of deep healing, a time to really um, cut away anything that, is no, that isn't serving you in love. So like I said, whether you are in a current partnership or you are, um, or you're single, you're really just cutting away what is no longer serving you. What, what kind of um, dynamics, I guess is what I wanna say. And you're really going, you're really stepping into your power with this and you're really ready to you know, even if it takes time, is what I'm getting here from this Ten of Cups in reverse and the Temperance in reverse too, is like, at this point, you are willing to be patient. You are willing to wait for what you truly want. And I think your guides are helping support you in this decision. And I think that's part of the action you're taking, whether the action is clarity, um, having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your partner, or the action is you know, putting bound, making boundaries in relationships, whether they're romantic or not, um, whatever it is, you're getting a lot of clarity and guidance and gaining a lot of freedom, independence and success, like a feeling of just really being able to take care of yourself on your own. Not, And I feel like there's a really good energy coming in here of releasing this sense of needing someone else in in a like a more codependent way you know and stepping into more of an energy of independence and um really knowing what what you need and what you want and also having you know enough of your resources filled and full so that you can also provide that for someone else that you can give back and have a very um balanced and healthy kind of connection beautiful I think that's so beautiful and you know it makes sense and I if there is some sort of separation and you know happening during this time period try to just take this time to really go within to really um again temperance sometimes will um remind reminds me of the, your angelic connections and again guidance so don't resist that guidance um, or really just allow that to come in during this time period. And most likely, like, things will definitely shift. So things will either shift, the relationship will shift out of your life because it's not a fit anymore and you and your guides know that, or it will up-level, it will change, it will transform. But in the process you know, it's going to lead you ultimately into this happiness, into this emotional fulfillment ultimately. Just with the reverse, there's just a little bit of a delay going on here. And that's probably because of the retrograde. So your happiness is here and it's coming, whether it's with the person you're with now, somebody in the future, or, um, yeah, or somebody in the future. I'm sorry, my brain kind of went somewhere else. Um, so wherever it is, and like I said, this is actually a very good fit for anything that's even not a romantic relationship. It's just your relationships are up-leveling to a new level of emotional fulfillment and emotional happiness through this Venus retrograde solstice period as we shift into 2022. Really, I'm really excited to see what this year brings, being that it's going to be a 222 year. So we're going to draw from another tarot deck, the crystal something tarot, I believe. I'll have all the cards, um, the decks listed below as well as usual. The crystal something tarot. Um, so we're going to look at career and finances for pile one. Please, spirit, according to the highest good, career and finances for this time period. There's one card. Uh, we've got, oh, oh, weird, interesting, okay. Queen of Swords, it came out in reverse again and it made a big deal of flipping out into reverse. So it definitely wants to be in reverse. I protect what matters to me, she says on this card. So make sure you are protecting yourself. Make sure you are 
cutting out what doesn't serve you and, you know, speaking your truth in a loving way, you know, not too harshly. So six of swords. Four of Cups. Seven of Cups. And we also got an extra one here, Nine of Wands. Oops. Sorry. Try to move these. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. in the camera so you can see them all okay you know I didn't look at the bottom of the deck energy actually for the love aspect and um did I have that deck upside down I did okay so um ace of swords bottom of the deck so communication new beginnings in communication definitely new starts here in love getting very clear on what you want, getting a lot of clarity. Interesting. So, um, interesting that you got that you got Queen of Swords for love and for finances. Often I feel like love and finances are interlinked energetically, you know, abundance is abundance and they seem to link a little bit and I do think they're both linked to our sense of lack or abundance in our own lives, like our belief systems around what we deserve and what we believe is possible. So um, do you have a lack mentality is something I think to examine in this Venus retrograde. You know, not to beat yourself up or anything like that, but just something to look at. Um, because when we have a feeling of lack or we have a mentality of lack, that's what we attract in. And that's something that needs to be cut out, you know. And it can create this feeling of resentment too. Um, you know, being stuck in a feeling of, of lack. <clears throat> so that can kind of bring in this um, irritation and feeling of um, maybe being a little harsher with people than you mean to be or with yourself than you mean to be. So I'm really feeling that from looking at this overall right now, that there need, that what would be helpful through this period is to really shift, shift yourself into a place of um, more of a mindset of abundance, of reminding yourself that really the universe does provide. It really does provide in all areas of your life when you're really focused on loving yourself. And like, didn't we get that card in the beginning about falling in love here? Almost hesitant to try to pull it out, but here we go. Oh, that came out fairly easily. Um, falling in love. I really feel like that is, that's part of this Venus retrograde is the love affair with yourself, you know, because as you really cultivate this energy in your life and in your, you know, within you, it really reflects into every area of your life and especially in including love and money or fine career. So you're moving away this 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 line this career finances area it says you are going to be moving into calmer waters that things have been a little challenging i see and frustrating i think <laughs> so you are figuring out what needs to be cleared up and let go of in your finances and career area as well um, so you're moving away from the stress of this you know a lot of the changes you're making are really helping to bring you into calmer waters, but you're still feeling this feeling of, um, you know, restlessness and boredom and maybe not quite sure which direction to go with things. Um, you're dreaming of what you would like. You're dreaming of the many opportunities that are available to you. But this also can bring on some confusion. 
So, you know, I feel like in the area of finance and career, there is also with this retrograde period, this sense of you're just not sure what you want to do or which direction to go. You finally got into some calmer waters in this area and you're really putting a lot of energy into it. So here, I'm going to read what these cards say. This says, I know that peaceful times will come. Yes. And I feel like that's where you are or recently have been or will be soon. I listen to my heart and I follow my knowing. Four of Cups. So that will pull you out of a sense. Listening to your heart in this situation will help pull you out of some of the chaos and turmoil and restlessness. I trust myself to see the truth. In confusion, it will pull you out of the confusion. There's, there's a lot moving a lot of possibilities for you, but it, it's almost making it more confusing. So you have to trust your heart. You have to know that you are mo um, that it all that you are the creator of this and that it's possible. So let's see. I am I am strong for as long as I need to be strong. And yeah, that's what I really think you're coming into alignment with this energy of understanding that you have what it takes to create in your life these things financially and emotionally bottom of the deck is king of cups i am my own anchor yeah you have the strength to do this and in the middle here of of this part is these cups as well so you're moving out of the mind and into your feelings and into your heart and you have the passion and strength to do this and you have the emotional, I love that the King of Cups is here as the bottom of the deck. So the influence for your financial journey here and it is affected by your emotions and, and your love. Love for yourself, love for your family maybe, love for life. So know that like what this, this Nine of Wands is saying, know that you do have the strength. You do have what it takes to make this happen and it's a time of action but you know I don't I think that the action I'm also feeling like the action the answers are coming so wait until you have clarity before you take the actions don't just act out of fear don't just act out of restlessness or boredom or impatience is what I'm seeing with both all of these cards don't act out of desperation. Just wait for this clarity. It is coming. Continue to release and clear the things out of your life that are not serving you on all levels. Listen to your guidance because your fulfillment is coming. Your independence, your success is coming. You have the strength. You have what it takes to do it. You're moving into calmer waters. That's the message for the career finance area. And I'm going to move to the oracle cards that I drew for advice. We have, oh yeah, that makes sense. Butterfly spirit transformation. You are transforming on a very deep level. Spirit guardian of the winter retreat. So remember what I was saying is like often the message is to retreat and this says take action and I do believe it's both. Like I said, you're, it, you're being guarded, you're being watched over, so retreat, protect yourself while you're gaining clarity. The retreat is about gaining clarity and, and as you go through this transformation in the retreat as well. We have an eight, I believe, is that an eight or a three? I think it's an eight and 38, which is also 11. And then we have a 43, which is also an eight. Look at that. Thicket of thorns, uncertainty. So yeah, there's a lot of messages in this reading about clarity and guidance. So know that you're getting the, the answers that you need are coming. You have this uncertainty looking ahead on your path. But you see how there's light ahead. You just trust the light and you keep moving forward. And that light is that love. 
So this is a time of transformation, retreat, surrender until you receive the clarity you need. And once you have that clarity and you will receive it, I'm hearing very and feeling very strongly right now. Once you have that clarity, you take action. You take action out of love and you know that you have the strength to create this. <laughs> and then the first card here is actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. I can't make this up. Express your love through actions. Actions speak louder than words, I'm also hearing. So, you know, in relationships, as you're working through this stuff, make sure that um, you're not only speaking what you need, but you're showing people what you need, and you're not only, like, listening to what they people say, but you're watching their actions. Because love will speak through those actions, and the actions speak louder than words. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. This is always a beautiful thing, especially this time of year. But also I feel like this is something like, um, I feel like some of you are giving too much attention to others. And this is a time to be giving more to retreat in that sense. You know, be social, go do the events that happen this time of year, enjoy yourself, but I feel like it's like you need to bring the focus back to you and do something good for you, do something sweet for you. Also do something for someone else if that feels aligned and right. But I feel like a lot of you are overdoing for other people, especially in relationships. So do something for you and appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. So no matter what difficulties you're going through in work or in relationships or love, try to find the appreciation in small moments throughout your day, in interactions with people, especially people who rub you the wrong way. I feel a message here is to look for the good in everyone and to appreciate the moment, to appreciate every moment, even if it's something you weren't, you know, it says every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. And how many times have we had those situations where, you know, something didn't align with our expectations. We ended up waiting longer at the airport or longer in line or something didn't, didn't align the way we thought it was going to. And it ended up being uh, this really interesting opportunity for love and a connection and adventure. Like maybe we met new people or made a connection that took us to somewhere else or just, you know, had an experience that we could never have otherwise. So appreciate the moments with each other, the good, the bad, the in-between. As we bring gratitude into every moment, it amplifies our abundance. It's just the law of the universe. It's the way it works. So you are moving in that direction and spirit is supporting you. Your guides and angels are supporting you. You have so much love in you, around you, coming to you. Don't miss that. Listen to your guidance. I don't think you're going to miss it from what I can feel in this. In this reading, I think the guidance is going to be overwhelmingly clear. So I hope you have an amazing journey through these energies. And I am wishing you so much love and blessings. If this reading resonated with you, um, please like it or comment down below. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you would like to. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I can't remember. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Much love. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. You chose the Lapis Lazuli Heart. Let's see. There we go. And I'll put it right up here. So we are going to look into the overall energies for the month. Oops. I'm just going to set your advice cards aside for later. Later. And then, <clears throat> so starting off, we have from the Moonology deck, we have, oh, good, good beginning. Luck is on your side. And we have bring love into the situation. 
and that is new moon in Sagittarius and new moon in Aquarius. So two new moons. Luck is on your side. Bring more love into the situation. Then from the Beyond Lemuria deck, we have Harmonic Flight. Number 29. And we have Endless Opportunities. Actually, even know how I'm gonna do this, but um, okay. And then from the Mermaid Oracle, we have Honor the Masculine. I was just getting something about that with this harmonic flight. So, respecting men, embracing the masculine, divine. Beautiful message in the midst of all the in a Venus retrograde to be honoring the masculine when there's so much um, the divine feminine is rising. So this is an important part of the balance we're bringing. And then Lemuria returns. Yes, just my point exactly. <laughs> um, earthly spirituality, community, ocean conservation. So we're gonna look more into the tarot in a few minutes, but what I'm already seeing here it's so beautiful. Uh, when I when the harmonic flight card came out, I immediately thought of, you know, divine union or twin flames. The union within, the union without. So union in relationships and union with yourself, the masculine aspect of yourself and the feminine aspect of yourself. And it looks like during this time period of about a month or so, Venus retrograde, you're going to be working with the energies of balancing this divine masculine within you. If you've chosen pile two, I'm, you know, really getting the message that it is the masculine within you that needs the healing and attention right now, at least in this retrograde period. Um, so, and luck is on your side with this. There's a very positive energy coming in to assist you. It says there's endless opportunities coming. So you're going to have endless opportunities within this time period to really embrace this other, this, you know, the healthy masculine within you. And that will help balance the divine feminine within you is what I'm hearing as well. And so this this balancing act that's going on is going to bring more opportunities and more luck and more love, actually, bring more love into the situation. It's going to bring more luck, love, opportunity, all of that in. So what what is the... Most of you know what the masculine energies represent, you know. And for those of you who don't or you just want to review, you know, when I think of the masculine energy... I think of action, uh, direction, focus, presence, um, generosity. What else? There are so many beautiful masculine attributes, um, that characteristics that we can honor. Um, protection, um, all kinds of good stuff. So really honoring that within ourselves and within the masculines in our life. So I'm also receiving the message right now that it's, it's important, it will be in your best interest to really honor the positive, life-affirming masculine traits within yourself and within your loved ones, within the masculine beings in your life, whether they're male or female. Um, whoever, the masculine beings in your life you know, really honor the beautiful things about them and the aspects of them that are positive, that are in a, are a very positive representation of the masculine, because that is part of what we're cultivating as we bring in these new energies and we bring in the new earth is this really beautiful balance between the masculine and the feminine, regardless of your gender, and just these energies really being honored for the highest frequencies that they can embody. So when we can really honor that in someone, it helps cultivate that in them, you know, it helps bring that out in them. So, you know, if just that basic concept, if you're paying, you know, calling out someone's faults all the time and putting them down, they're going to be more likely to become that person. So really honoring that in each other and 
and maybe and whether they're actually no matter what the gender just honoring maybe this month for this period of the retrograde really just honoring the masculine in everyone in yourself and everyone i feel like that's going to bring you into this place of harmonic flight which is this balance this awakening there are endless opportunities that are available that are coming to you that want to be here with you. This energy of Lemuria returning. In Lemuria, we were very balanced. Lemuria is, you know, when we talk about ancient Lemuria, that civilization, it does feel more feminine. But the beautiful thing about it is I actually think it was just more feminine than the culture that we're used to, than the world we're used to. I actually think Lemuria was very balanced. Um, I think it had, did lean maybe towards more feminine characteristics in the sense of it was such a so related to the ocean and water that that is such a feminine energy but I really feel like the culture the society if you want to call it I don't know what it was like <laughs> but I do sense and my guides have pointed out time and time again that it is that it was a very beautifully equal society very high frequency where the masculine and the feminine the divine masculine and the divine feminine were really being honored in everyone regardless of gender sex whatever so that i feel like is a huge message coming through for you and bringing more love into whatever situation this is whatever situation is calling for it and and knowing that luck is on your side i feel like your guides want you to know that on this journey for the next month you know that know that you are being blessed, that you are being led, and that you're going to have endless opportunities. You're going to know which opportunity to choose when you're in balance. So trust yourself. Trust that process. It's a really pow And with a uh, full moon in Gemini, the, the ooh, shoot. Right. Gemini is like, you know, the twins. So this harmonic flight reminds me of twins or the uh, twin flames or divine feminine and masculine within you the holy grail within so if any of that's resonating with you if not just take it as it resonates but um, we're gonna ch choose or we're gonna look into the um, good tarot the good tarot deck to ask about some love messages whatever spirit wants to share according to your highest good as we move through this period this powerful period we're in of, I feel like it's a period of illumination and change. Illumination and change is what I'm hearing. It feels like, you know, of course change is the only constant in this realm, right? We're constantly changing. So that's a given. But there is this illumination coming and there's this change and, you know, they're kind of, they're highlighting what the where the change is going to be. And, and you can sense whatever change is coming as well. So let's see, do all these want to come out? They do. Okay. So let's see what we got. Two of fire. Two of wands. Oh boy, the tower. I tell you, that tower has just been... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but I can't... I mean, just at a certain point, you have to laugh. That tower has just been rampant in relationships as we've moved into these ascension energies. And um, let's see, these came out like this came out in reverse. This is the Six of Earth, Six of Pentacles. And Ten of Fire, Ten of Wands. And Ace of Water, which is the beautiful Ace of Cups. Whoops, with that cool seahorse there. Ace of Water. So it looks like Venus Retrograde is bringing quite an interesting time for you in love. Quite an interesting time of transition. So we're starting off with the Two of Wands, which also can, for me, represent Twin Flame as well as the Four of Wands. But there is this portal here for me with the Two of Wands, these two directions, these two choices that often comes up in a love journey or a soulmate journey, particular, part, particularly in a twin flame journey. So 
whatever the case, whatever your situation with love or relationships, it looks like this period is starting off with a choice and that makes sense with a retro with this retrograde and everything else that's moving through it. So, you know, there's a choice. There are two directions to go in and Yeah, I'm I'm really sensing that one of them one one is your past or like one is your comfort zone, you know, kind of one is your past in a way is what I'm hearing or what you're currently in is you can basically you're choosing between going in a familiar path or a new path is what I'm hearing. And this tower, this moment of some sort of breaking down or epiphany in relationship so it has created you know you you want maybe you made the decision and that created this tower moment so there was you were making a decision or you were in the process of making a decision because of what exploded in in your life or what epiphany came what realization and awareness came the tower often represents a an event or and or events in our life that we don't feel like we have any control over that, you know, like a breakup or something shocking or a realization, a finding out of a secret, you know, um, a big job change, job loss, although we're talking about love right now, so I'm trying to keep it in that arena. So, you know, and sometimes it can just be epiphany, like, oh my gosh, I do love this person or, you know, I don't love this person. So it, I, there's a, a pretty big decision going on here and it's creating a major change. But the, also the beautiful thing about the tower is the change that happens is always for our best. It's always something from the divine that come basically, you know, sometimes things have to be thrown up in the air to be reorganized and start new. And you do have this ace of cups here, this ace of water as the end result of this line of energy. So it is opening, whatever this crashing down is or this awakening is bringing you into new a new opportunity for love in your life. Whether it's with the same person or a new person or a platonic relationship, if that's what you're reading this as. So the six of pentacles in reverse is telling me there's just, you know, there, along with this ten of wands, there has been a period of feeling like you know, you're, you, whatever this decision that you want, I'm feeling like many of you walked away from something or are in the process of deciding to walk away from something because it's an unequal balance of power. And there, there isn't the recipro reciprocity that you are looking for in relationship. And it's been overwhelming. It's been, an, there's an overwhelming amount of There's, it's just been an overwhelming burden to bear. Let's put it that way. There's been an overwhelming amount of things to deal with in general, and it's become very burdensome and very out of balance. And so this has been the awakening. This has been either you are already in this energy. I feel like some of you are already in this, have already are in the process of this tower moment or have just come out of it. Um, but for some of you, this is what, and, you know, take it as it resonates, please don't. If it doesn't feel right, then it's not right. But the, for some of you, this is what's happening and this is what's coming. And if it is coming for you, you probably have a sense of it already. You're already in the process of being in the two of wands, of making this decision. So I feel like the, what really Spirit wants you to know from this is that this Ace of Water is coming. There has been this imbalance. There has been this upheaval. There has been this pain or this awakening. But... It's leading to you, you to this greater offering of love. And to me, whenever I see the Ace of Cups, it's the one, right? It's one. It's about, really, it's about this, like, new love with yourself. Like, your cup will overfloweth, basically, in every area of your life as you choose. Because I feel like whatever this decision is, whatever is falling apart here, 
or coming together, you know, it feels like it's falling, falling apart. I'm sorry, but whatever's falling apart here is, is serving your greatest good because it's going to bring you back into a place of love being fulfilled. And what comes after the ace of cups, the two of cups. So I even feel like there might be an offer of love coming though, in some form, maybe even from the same person that happened with this tower moment, if you're married or in a long-term relationship, you know, maybe this is just a reopening of a new offer, but something really out of balance is getting Getting corrected is what I'm hearing spirits saying it's getting corrected so oops sorry about that didn't mean to bump it yeah oh wonderful and so the bottom of the deck we have the ten of water so that's the ten of cups so that is emotional fulfillment happiness this is exactly the energy that is motivating all of this you are finding your happiness through this process know that this offering of love is coming if it is, this Venus retrograde period might be a challenge as you really honor yourself and awaken to some things and really, you know, it's like to, here it's talking about honoring the masculine. So, you know, maybe that's what's, maybe that's the imbalance that's getting corrected in your relationships is maybe you have been too feminine with your, your, uh, the way you relate to the other person. Um, or vice versa. There's some sort of imbalance there, especially with the harmonic flight card coming out as well. And maybe I just got this message for some of you. The endless opportunities card is to remind you that there are more fish in the sea, <laughs> that your ace of cups is coming. It's always available to you. You just have to choose to love you first. That's what that ace of cups is about. That will bring you your 10 of cups. That will bring you your happiness, fulfillment, it's, when you love yourself fully and, and let go of those those situations or relationships or dynamics within relationships that are off balance and they're not serving your highest good because the whole point of that harmonic flight card too is that it's the balance that the balance between the masculine and the feminine the balance of honoring the divine of both of those frequencies and energies whether they're in yourself or in another person that is what allows for harmonic flight. That's what allows for your spirit to fly. That's what allows for all of that Ten of Cups energy in your life of creating happiness and peace. So now we're going to draw from the, I forget what it's called. I think it's called the Cat Tarot. Um, for your career messages, we're going to just see what spirit has to say. Because Venus retrograde also affects our finances and um, career arena. So we have the Four of Wands. Beautiful way to start that. This whole reading, <laughs> your whole reading has had, uh, can you see that over there? No. Um, your whole reading has had ton, uh, like a whole bunch of twin flame references. To me, the Four of Wands is also this like twin flames card. Um, or soulmate, divide, like a high-level soulmate. So your whole reading is full of that. So that might be what the person that you're that you're working with here, or maybe you're leaving someone to move into this coming into union with this new with this twin flame. And so then we have the moon. And if so, like let this Venus, I'm, I'm hearing let the Venus retrograde energy take its course. Like try to be patient with it. Try to honor yourself. Stay in self-love. Uh, stay in balance. Um, what is this one under here? Yeah, bring more love into the situation. So just keep loving yourself, doing the self-care, self-love stuff. Because I'm getting the sense, especially if this is, for those of you, there are some of you who are on the twin flame journey, if this is you, self-care is going to be essential through this process for everyone, but just take that as it resonates. And then Nine of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. And I wanna get another one. One more, please, Spirit. And 
then we have the Four of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck energy is the Knight of Cups. So it looks like this, I'm just gonna pull him out, why not? And then the chariot, oh, interesting. We're gonna, I feel like that is relevant as well. So we have the Knight of Cups and behind that, the chariot. So this Ace of Cups, you know, no energy exists like in, by, in a bubble by itself, right? Everything's influencing each other and Venus is affecting love and finance. I mean, those are some of the areas it rules. So like this is all connected on some level energetically is what I'm feeling. And I felt that in the last pile as well. So there is a link here to more love, you know, you, the universe op offering you this love in your life as you release this opportunity uh, or as you release whatever pattern is going on in love for you. Um, it's opening a doorway to celebration and your dreams, essentially your dreams coming true to a certain degree in your career and finance arena. Because the Four of Wands to me is like a gateway, a celebration, an opening up into some sort of, it's like a portal. And it's an 11-11 portal. So even though we're not talking about the twin flame in this particular scenario, 11-11 is still a very powerful master number and angelic number um, for mastery, basically, of your path. So you are, and being guided, you know, being and knowing your guidance. So you are really moving through a portal in your finance and career. And I feel like you have, it's, it's a, what do you call it? A manifestation of many dreams that you have been bringing together. Basically, you've been dreaming this for many years. Um, don't let your fears get in your way because you are stepping into this Nine of Pentacles energy, which is very independent, confident successful free you know basically doing what you doing what you want when you want to a certain degree the way you want and yeah this um king of wands energy passionate you know vibrant in control of your path of your work of maybe other people that you're in charge of in your work or employees or whatever um a lot of confidence a lot of fire and passion but also financial stability you are going to be saving so you know i think you've had some fears and i'm, I'm getting called to these bones you know these are in this deck they're being represented as bones can you say that sorry I can't always tell what you can see unless I look over. So there are bones in this card. And I feel like it's been feeling like a little bit bare, like the financial area for you. You've been, you know, kind of wondering. You've been had some, some pretty deep fears about it. Some shadow stuff coming up. Not sure. Um, I, I am also getting that when you really as you release yourself from this relationship pattern and it might even be relationship patterns um as you release yourself from that it is going to help release these deep fears that that you can't do this that you can't be this independent successful person that carries the see him the king of wands a masculine we and he needs to stay focused on his masculine positive masculine attributes like the king of wands in his in his best self is amazing and vibrant and powerful and passionate so those are the qualities you're moving into that you're really embodying along with this independence and success so don't hold, you know don't hold back who you are don't spend your money frivol frivol frivolously of course save because you have been in the bones area. So it's going to be nice. It's going to feel good is what I'm getting. It's going to feel good to have an opportunity to, to put a little money away, to save. But also don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back from sharing your passion and your love. The Knight of Cups being behind this is so interesting to me. So you might even have a love 
relationship connected to your work. But there's this powerful love that is in this drive, this drive for success, the chariot. There's, there's an energy of wanting to offer love in the sense of your purpose, you know, your passion and your purpose to the world. So that is driving this energy through the Venus retrograde. And it looks like um, you're moving through your fears and you're going to, you might even still feel like by the time this month is over that you know, you're just barely at the place you want to be. Like, it's not, like, necessarily vibrant, but it is the start. I feel like I'm hearing spirits say it, saying it is the start. And with the chariot um, behind this energy, you are really learning how to balance your finances and career life and balance your fears and your desires is what I'm hearing, especially with uh, this Knight of Cups being the influence behind it is like you're learning to balance your desires for what you want with the practicality of how to get it, um, releasing your fears, embracing the independence, and knowing what to save and when to give. And, you know, like I said, the masculine can be very generous. The masculine energy can be very, very generous. So learning to balance, you know, not give too much of yourself, but not give too little either is what I'm getting. So really beautiful experience for you, I think, in the finance financial area. I think you're going to be feeling less um, in, le in less of a place of lack by the end of this month is what I'm getting, at least from here. Take it as it resonates. So the advice oracles we drew for you, my favorite, you got the unicorn, purity. Again, with the Knight of Cups and with all of this happening in the, in the love love area I do feel like there is this pure love driving you there is this pure intention this pure desire for purpose so know that stay in that realm you know um, stay clear stay in integrity stay in love you know your card said your moonology card said bring more love into this situation so stay in that frequency and you will continue to be led You'll have all those endless opportunities, but it will be this purity that leads you. Purity of the heart. And you have guardian of the land, guardians of the land, protection. So also being reminded that you are protected through this. And you can call on protection. You can ask for protection in your business, in your love life, in everything. And what is that, a 45, I think the unicorn one is a 45, and this one is a 21. So nine and three, beautiful. So know that there is purity and protection, moonlight, enchantment, magic, purity, protection, and magic. And with that unicorn, it figures. So you are really being blessed through this process is the message I'm getting from these cards. Your guides and angels are with you. You are learning big lessons, but you're in alignment. And even though it might feel overwhelming sometimes, and you might feel like it's not fair, and, and that you're in a place of lack, all you have to do is know that you're protected, remember that you're protected, and shift your mindset to love. Remind yourself that you are love and the universe loves you and there's no way that you would be left in the lack or the cold or the dark like that. So know that you're protected. Know that the magic is within you is the message I'm hearing. The purity is within your heart. So stay in your heart, stay in your passion and trust yourself and trust spirit because this is all going to work out beautifully. It's just a really intense retrograde period again. So we also received uh, the only thing, yep, so this is a perfect message. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. What was I just saying? Make sure you stay focused on that in whatever way works for you. Everybody has a different way of connecting. I love all the rainbows in there. So maybe doing some chakra clearing, med chakra meditations might be helpful just came to me not sure who that's for but simple acts of kindness kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you 
So as you bring more love into the situation, also bring more kindness. That'll keep you in your heart. That'll keep you centered. Kindness to yourself too. These messages as you give to whatever you are healing in others, you're healing in yourself. Whatever you're giving to others, giving to yourself. So bring more kindness into your life for others, for yourself. And then be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So there's two cards there. So maybe that has is a connection to honoring the masculine as well. Bring kindness in, bring loving, bring love in, bring support in because you are independent. You are strong. You are protected. You have everything you need. So, you know, from that place of fulfillment, you have the ability to remember that the only thing that is real and that matters is love. And that will bring you into a place where you can offer kindness, where you can offer support without feeling resentful, without feeling like it empties your cup or takes anything away from you or adds into sort any sort of manipulation dynamic. So be kind to yourself, be supportive to yourself, know that your guides and angels are bringing you this kindness and support and love as well, and that you are protected and that this is going to be an amazing transformational process for you over the next month or so. Um, and bringing you more into alignment with union, with divine union within you, with whatever that means to you is what I'm hearing. Because that means something different to all of you. So this looks really beautiful. If you like this reading, please like it and share it if there's somebody you would like to share it with please leave a comment below if you'd like to share your experience i always love reading those and connecting with you more if you'd like to subscribe please do would love to have you so thank you so much and i'm sending you so much love and i'll see you next time blessings hello there pile three welcome to your reading you chose the celestite stone This stone helps connect you to the celestial realms, guides and angels. If you see some sm <clears throat> smoke coming across the screen, it's just the sage. It should go away in a minute. So let's look at first we're looking at the energies general energies that are happening for you through this month or so ahead through the Venus retrograde. Um, a personal issue re reaches resolution. And communication is key. Both blue both in Cancer, so, or no, Gemini. Full moon in Cancer and then new moon in Gemini. So let's see what else before we get into that. And then from the Beyond Lemurian deck, we have air, the element of air, paradigm shift, paradigm shift. And that's interesting because communication is, sim is symbolic of air, the element of air. So we're gonna put that over here next to this one. And then we, ha oh, beautiful. Then we have the element earth. You have two elements in your reading. Um, and earth is about nurture nature. I love this card. You can actually get this as a tapestry from her. And this one too, actually, but I thought about getting this one. It's so beautiful. So earth, earth and air, that might resonate for some of you as far as astrology. And from the Mermaid Oracle, we have Conchomancy, Seashell Divination, or Wisdom of the Shelves. That's very interesting. Seashell Divination, or Wisdom of the Shells. Why they're having me put that in the center? I have no idea. And then um, Receptivity, Allow Yourself to Receive, Allow Yourself to Give. Receptivity. And I'm hearing receptivity in, oh, where to put this, um, in your communication. So we'll put it over here. Being receptive to hearing what others are saying, you know, what they're truly saying. So interesting. 
it looks like it looks like this next month or so the energies that are coming in for you what spirits calling your attention to is yeah not just your communication in this realm more importantly your ability to communicate with your higher self and your guides and angels this period is going to bring you into a place where you are more receptive and more open to receiving communication and to giving communication back and forth. You might already be someone who's a reader or works with some form of div divination. Um, so that is also being highlighted as something that I think is going to be strengthening. With this earth card here, with this element of earth, I'm feeling that this, these gifts, this a gift to communicate and your ability to communicate in the spirit realms is also bringing in an enhanced ability to communicate in the human realms, in the 3D, 4D, 5D, I guess, even realms. So I'm getting that you are grounding these gifts through this Venus retrograde. I'm not exactly sure how that, I think that's going to, I'm getting a lot of different scenarios, so I think that's going to show up differently for each of you, because this is such an intuitive, personal process between you and your guides. I'm hearing that you have been kind of preparing for this for a while. I think that you've been doing work to develop in these areas more, and I th I'm sensing that for a while you've been thinking it's not working, how come it's not getting any better, it's a little better, but how come I don't feel more guided? Um, how, don't, how come I don't get more messages? How come my guides don't communicate with me more? And the answer to that <laughs> is, is coming in a big way through this Venus retrograde. So your relationships in general, I believe, are going to, communication is going to be a, a theme for the next month as we move through this Venus in retrograde period. So communicating with your guides and angels, grounding, um, there was some sort of similar message in pile one. So if pile one resonated with you, there might be messages for there, there for you as well. But this is about grounding in your abilities. Um, a personal issue reaches re resolution, and I think that has to do with your ability to now be receptive, your ability to now communicate more clearly and to receive guidance even through divination. So I'm also hearing that some of you have oracle cards and um, tarot cards and things like that at home. Speaking of that, let me get these decks out. I didn't actually get these decks out yet. Um, have tarot decks or oracle cards that you, I'm hearing you never work with that, and it's not a judgment, but spirits saying they sit on your bookshelf or, or your table or wherever they are, and they hardly ever, um, you hardly ever use them. So that is one area of divination or rune stones or whatever it is that you do. I'm getting that there, it's available to you, you know, pretty regularly, um, and you just kind of don't think about it. So that's part of this. Part of whatever you're receiving here, this communication and your gift to share your intuitive abilities with others, it doesn't have to be with a specific like material form of divination. It can just be your intuitive ability to, <clears throat> to tap in. So it's time to start. That is part of what you're going to offer as we move into these newer energies, as we move into the ascension and start to create the new earth. Divination and your receptivity and your ability to communicate with both the spiritual realms and the physical realms are a huge part of the gift that is coming forward for you. And, and I think you already know this, but it's, it's, level, it's up leveling. And as this process takes place, I'm hearing that this personal issue is going to reach resolution through this communication process, through this greater ability to communicate with your higher self, your guidance, and your intuition. And through this receptivity, it's like you're going to be receiving better and then also bringing that forward better um, out of your throat chakra. So there is going to be, especially with these two blue cards here and all of the blue in, in the 
error card. There is going to be an opening of the heart chakra. Yeah, the heart chakra too, yes. Um, but there's going to be an opening of the throat chakra. Your ability to communicate your heart. Your ability to communicate your vision. Um, and that will help you manifest. Will help bring this earth energy in. Will help bring whatever issue to resolution. So we're going to draw from the tarot to see, star tarot deck, to see... Gonna ask about your love life in particular or love life your your love yeah I guess love life your love in particular um, if you're not in a relationship or don't anticipate being or don't want to be you can apply these messages to other relationships in your life and just you know minus the romantic aspect you can just take what resonates and leave what doesn't they can also be messages for yourself um, for self-love so you can just take these messages however you like or you are welcome to fast forward to the <laughs> career and finances part but my guess is there will be messages in here for you as well so spirit for pile three what do you want to talk about for the love for venus retrograde and all these other energies it's like i don't want to go through the whole list every time and i think the key here is the fact that venus is in retrograde it's such a powerful time for us really helping us reorganize the way we are in relationship essentially on a very karmic level wow the world just flew out okay oops so what order we do these want to be in i guess the way they came out so um we're gonna do because they came out like that yeah ten of wands just ten of wands Seven of Cups in reverse was also in another pile, but I don't remember which one. It might have been pile one, actually. Um, the, the Fool in reverse. Boy, everybody's going through some challenging stuff in love these days. Six of Swords. It's what the Venus retrograde is doing in a way, you know, it's really, it's bringing our attention to the th things that need to be looked at in our relationships. And then the Ace of Wands, it's good. Six. So it looks like a journey. It ends in a positive note. Um, well, let's see what's the bottom of the deck too. Yeah, <laughs> Knight of Cups. So it looks like there's things have been a bit overwhelming. <laughs> um, maybe there's been confusion with the partner you're with or confusion over which partner to choose, you know, that um, maybe you feel like you have been uh, you know, have been going on a few different dates and um, nothing's really interesting and it goes deeper than that. I feel like it's like, it's not only that the, that these people that you're connecting with aren't interesting, it's that they're, they're kind of confusing <laughs> and frustrating and it's been a little bit overwhelming. Um, you haven't really been able to leap forward or move forward um, either with your current partner you're going through these these confusion about what you want or what they want and it's been kind of a burden it's been overwhelming uh, your relationship situation so like I said if this isn't romantic love this can be in another relationship in your life so take it as it resonates um, but you're really wanting a new start you're really wanting to move forward but you don't want to move forward recklessly you want to move forward with innocence and purity and joy, but you, you have all this, this is where this receptivity is going to come in. You know, you're having this strong communication with your guides and angels, and maybe there's a strong communication going on here in these relationships, but it looks like there has been this like fear of going forward, fear that if I take this leap forward, that, you know, it'll be a mistake. Or um, I can't take a leap forward because it's too confusing or too overwhelming. And so 
that's part of the energy that's coming up for you is what I'm sensing in the area of love through this Venus retrograde period. But the good news is, is that you will be moving out of this energy as we move out of the retrograde. So as whatever, whatever's happening here is healing. So it could even be that someone else is being confused. Someone else is acting confused. Maybe you're in relationship with someone who's like, I'm not sure I want to be in a relationship or I'm not sure I want what you want. And there's this um, fear of moving forward either on their part or your part or both your parts. Or, you know, maybe this is if you're in a long term relationship or marriage, this could be in terms of some issue within your lives or within your relationship that you're really having to work with or yeah it just looks like some really intense stuff to carry so your venus retrograde is going to bring up some deep healing and but it is going to bring you into a calmer place i feel like things have not necessarily been calm recently um and this is like you're moving out of See how peaceful the whales are there? You're moving into peace. You might not be able to take this leap or move forward right now in the way that you think you would like to. That's what I'm sensing is that you might have to just move forward, whatever that means. You might have to move on temporarily, um, move on from whatever the disagreement is, just agree to disagree and move on, or you might have to move on from the re relationship. Temporarily, I'm actually getting for a lot of you that there's like this temporary um, space. And for some of you, you're letting go of these old connections that are just not, not serving you, um, that they're not going anywhere. And so you're just like, you know, I've had enough of this and I'm just going to move into a more peaceful place. I'm just gonna come into my center, my stillness, and I'm going to start new. I love the Ace of Wands energy. It's one of my favorite cards in the tarot. It's like so passionate, and especially in terms of when we're talking about love. So I think there's there's either renewed interest coming as you move out of whatever this this frustrating period is. There's Just know that there is going to be a re- igniting of passion and creativity and energy in the direction of love and then we have at the bottom of the deck the knight of cups so there is this deeper offer of love that is coming someone is coming forward or you know some aspect of yourself like i said if that doesn't apply this is the this is the What's behind all of this is this deeper offer of love. And I'm even feeling like this is your soul in the universe. Like this is your soul asking, offering and asking at the same time. And so all of this passion and confusion and stagnancy and separation and whatever else pain came up that had to come up that you had to experience. I'm just going to put this here. Um, is so that you can move into a better place. You can move away from what isn't serving you because this Ace of Wands, as soon as you move away, the passion comes in, this new start. This I love the lightning bolts in this card. It's like this electric new start. And what, what is behind it all is this offer of love. And on this card, in this deck, there's a unicorn. So that to me is purity, like the pure love. Pure love is what is the driving force behind this. And you're not going to settle for anything that is not pure love, pure passion, exactly what you deserve, exactly what you're looking for. And love is not about overbearing problems and confusion all the time. Yes, of course, we go through that sometimes. So if you are in a long-term partnership or a marriage, I think this is just something you guys are going through and you're going to find a way to find to move into calm, calmer waters and reignite that spark because you have a cup that you offered to each other. You've made this commitment to each other and it's still here. It's in your reading. It's behind, the influence behind Spirit saying, you know, that love is really strong in your relationship. So trust that, trust yourself and allow yourself to move into a calmer place with this person um, or with this situation, no matter what it is. 
ask for help. Your, commu your the communication. Use your use your divination. Um, use your intuition. Talk to your guides and angels. This this personal issue. Your first card in your in your reading. This personal issue is coming to a resolution, and it's coming to a resolution through this Venus retrograde period. So by January 29th, somewhere around that time, should be in this reigniting place. This new beginning of passion and creativity. That's what I'm seeing for you in terms of love for this period. And we're also going to look at career. And often the two are intermingled because nothing is separate within our lives or within all life, right? We're all connected. So from my friend's beautiful deck, the True North Tarot, we're going to look at career and finance because I know some of you maybe don't have a career at this point but you know just general finance area pile three please spirit let's see what wants to come through here split the deck and shuffle No, that was quick. Good. Okay. Seven of Wands. I can't see. Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay. Um. <laughs> I told you they're connected. Uh, the Lovers. Major Arcana. Wow, you have the Knight of Cups twice in this reading. <laughs> this Venus retrograde is bringing love for you. I mean, even though we're talking career, I'm sorry. We also have the Lovers and the Knight of Cups. And I know we're talking finances and career, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that I'm feeling this, like, deep vibration of love coming for you. Okay, and then Nine of Swords. And I want to get one more if I can. So some of you in the love reading might have chosen a, um, what do you call it, a work relationship to look at rather than a love relationship. In which case, these two piles or these two spreads might really um, go together nicely. I just need one more, please, spirit. Oh, can't take the top one. And bottom of the deck. Good. Okay. Let's scoot this over. So we have Seven of Wands, The Lovers, oh gosh, <laughs> oh boy, all right, The Lovers, The Knight of Cups, The Nine of Swords, and I'm happy to see it end with the Seven of Pentacles here. And bottom of the deck is Six of Pentacles. So you're working towards more stability and, um, yeah, more stability and reciprocity in terms of finances. You might even be, yeah, you might even be, some of you might even be um, offering help to loved ones, to family in some way. So, you know, overall there's this sense of, you know, in your financial world, um, there's overall there's this sense of victory. You know, starting off this Venus retrograde period, like overall there's this sense of, you know, maybe you do fairly well, maybe you, um, in life, maybe you've had, um, a good job for a while or at least a stable job where you can count on your income you're pretty feel pretty good in that area but there is some major decision that's coming up for you uh, and pretty passionate in that area um oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't even know what i'm thinking i'm sorry ah <laughs> <laughs> that's totally wrong but i do feel like that that came out for a reason so that must be relevant for some of you. I'm thinking six of wands. So some of you are are really good, are doing well financially. And um, 
I think Spirit's saying that's going to continue even if some anxiety comes up through this process, through this retrograde. Know that all your hard work is not going to be lost, okay? It's it's going to be all right. And that's kind of, I'm just channeling that message. It just came from me mistakenly reading this card. So Seven of Wands is, <clears throat> for others of you, for most of you, I think there is... Um, a feeling of having had to defend your finances or your career like a, um you've had to fight for you feel like you have to fight for it you know um it's an area of a little bit of defense and fight for you and you know the lovers here is like there's a major decision i believe that you are trying to make as far as bringing more love into your and more fulfillment into your financial situation and your career and I also think that for some of you this relationship that you're either in now or contemplating going into in a more serious way is also part of a financial decision for you um is connected to your finances in some way so that would make sense especially if it's a separation long-term separation or divorce so there are some, um, you're feeling a little de defensive in this period and feeling like you have to make some major decisions. Um, there's a lot of anxiety around it. I think you're afraid that, like I had mentioned with the first message, is uh, this fear of losing what you've worked so hard for and not feeling like, you know, it's like, you're a little defensive too because it's like there's all this anxiety too because there's this fear that there's just not like you feel like there's just barely enough um like i said that won't apply to all of you some of you are in a pretty victorious situation but i think a pretty positive situation with money but for all of you this this is going to be the challenge it's like this venus retrograde is going to bring up a decision I guess it's an opportunity is what I'm hearing. You've been kind of in this place of not feeling like you have this reciprocity with the universe, you know, like you've been working so hard, you feel like you've breadcrumbs, you know, to give or to have or to save. And I think this Venus retrograde is going to bring this reality to your, into your awareness in, in a very big way if it's not already there and, and cre it's creating some defensiveness. So knowing that the universe has your back with this, okay, that what this is calling for, you know, the, the Knight of Cups here too, I and didn't that say a uh, personal, that this is about bringing a balance, bringing in balance in this, in your finances, in your career life. I also feel for some of you, this has to do with people that you are, this whole spread has to do with people that you are collaborating with or maybe business partners. So there's there's some defensiveness going on. There's some anxiety. Um, there's this desire though, this deep desire to have your career your finances, that part of your life, be an offering of love, be part of your purpose in this life, something that you can really give. And some of you might, your your work might be tied into your partnership. Maybe you have, you and your partner, spouse or whatever, have a business together. But this, I feel like there is going to be a big theme for you in this pile, pile three, especially this month or through this Venus retrograde period um, in, in work relationships. So even if it's just co-workers, I think there is some real anxiety about um, trusting other people, like knowing who to trust, knowing, you know, who to give to, who not to give to. And wasn't there, let me look here real quick. Yeah, receptivity. So interesting. Receptivity is here. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give. And then the six of pentacles is the bottom of the deck, which is also kind of the same thing. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give, allow yourself to have a balance here because you're looking for, you know, you we all want our all of areas of our life to be fulfilling and prosperous. And yeah, we want to build something 
of value, the Three of Pentacles. We want to build something valuable in our communities and in our lives. And so I feel like this month for you, or this Venus retrograde period for you is a lot about that. It's about this um, knowing who to trust, really finding relationships and partnerships that in business and finance and career, whatever, that are very balanced and where you feel like your cup is not only you you're is not only going to be received when you offer it like with grace but you also will receive an offering back so it's this give and take energy it's re receptivity your ability to receive from someone else but it's also your ability to give so that will ease the anxiety. There's been, you know, if you might even, as you go through this period, there might be some sleepless nights. There might be some nail biting. Hopefully you don't nail bite, but, um, cause I know that's not a pleasant habit. Some people do, I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but anyway, so just know that this is your challenge. So whatever's coming up between the 19th of December and the 29th of January in your career and finances area is an opportunity for you to come into a more complete and whole state, a more loving and less defended, less fearful, less clinging. So I think that part of this receptivity message too and this six of coin message is because this is the energy behind this spread. And so I feel like the message is really, and I was getting this for another pile, I can't remember which one, is like to move, to allow yourself, I think this is a huge opportunity to allow yourself to come into union, to come into balance and to move out of this place of fear of lack or giving too much or receiving too much, you know, like receiving too little or giving too little. So bringing balance in, especially they're calling attention to this re receptivity card here. So um, I'm really feeling like in this case, maybe it's bringing balance. Another pile was bringing balance to the masculine. And I feel like pile three here, you're bringing balance to the feminine. You're being more receptive. You're being, you're opening your heart, this this Knight of Cups. You're, you're opening yourself to love even in the area of finance. So you're bringing this receptive understanding that abundance is a mindset and it's a mindset that affects every area of your life, not just your love life, not just your financial life, every single area, your, your spiritual life, your, your everything. So I, I really feel like the main message that's going, coming through for you for a career in finance through this retrograde period, this Venus retrograde period is an opportunity for balance. To let go of your defenses, to let go of your fears, to let go of your lack mentality and be more receptive to what the universe wants to offer you um, in both love and career. And communication is key in all of your relationships. I'm hearing that again. That was your one of your first cards, the Moonology card. It's like pers these personal issues that you're having in both business and love, you know, it's no accident that they're happening parallel to each other on some level. Can all, spirit saying, can all be really transformed by communication. Communication with your guides and angels, however you want to do that, whether you pray, meditate, whatever, divination and also communication with the people around you, heartfelt communication, and be receptive, be open to what they have to say and offer, and still honoring yourself, of course, still loving yourself, but being open. And then your Oracle message advice cards for this, Bluebird Spirit, happiness. Happiness is yours, it's coming your way, more of it. I love the Bluebird. Strength, you have the strength, ancient oak spirit. Happiness, strength, growth, toadstools. And I do feel like your business has to do with other people in some way because even with this toadstools card, and it's number 44, which you can look that number up if it resonates with you as an angel number. To me, it just means you're in. You're in partnership with your angels. They're looking out for you. So this is a period of, of expansion and growth for you. Know that you have the strength to do this and it's leading you ultimately to your greatest happiness. But when I think of the toadstools, 
I think of how they all grow together. You know how there's just this, there is that energy of the myce mycelium and community. So I really do feel like for a lot of you, your career finances are really tied in with other people, even if it's like just tied in in a relationship. Um, and that there's going to be a lot of growth in this area and a lot of happiness. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, put it, letting go of your defenses and actually putting, you know, up healthy boundaries, boundaries that are receptive to growth, boundaries that are receptive to happiness. And knowing that you have the strength and the fortitude to do this and that you're totally safe and you have all this love with you, you can make these decisions, Spirit saying, with confidence. And then this says, slow down. Pause and allow things to unfold in your life and in all of these situations, love and career. Just slow down. Give yourself a break. Give other people a break and let things unfold. Let yourself rest, integrate, take the time to really think about what you need to think about and feel and process what you need to feel and process and just let things unfold because... You are, I, there are a lot of positive energies moving through this for you and knowing that this is a very powerful growth period with all the energies that are happening. And we have the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. That's beautiful. And have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. I feel like those two cards in particular I can really feel for people in long-term commitments. But relevant to others too, take it as it resonates, you know. Slow down the union of hearts. Have faith in all of these relationships and in all of these situations. And be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And, and communicate that. And as you're authentic and you're real with who you are and true to yourself, that will also be communicated non-verbally. That will be communicated energetically. And some of the issues and people that need to leave these situations will fall away just by you resonating in a more authentic frequency. So it looks like... There's a lot of big lessons that are in, in process for you through this period, but it looks like you also have a lot of positive stuff coming through in this Ace of Wands, the new beginning. So much love, so much support from spirit. This is great advice. Remember to slow down. Remember to love the people. Come into union with the people in your lives that you love. Come into union with yourself. Have faith. Don't lose faith just because we can't see we have to know that it's working out. And, and you are, you know, here with this um, divination card. So sometimes for those of us who are very psychic or intuitive or are readers, you know, it can be even more challenging sometimes to have faith because um, we do know a lot a lot of times, but there are per intentionally and purposely things that we don't know because faith is powerful. It's powerful medicine is what I'm hearing. Powerful medicine in our lives, faith. It opens the heart. It um, basically recommits, I'm hearing it recommits our soul to our path when we have faith. It recommits, we remind, we're recommitting to spirit of saying, yes, I remember who I am and I remember who you are, so I have faith. And then be authentic because you are beautiful and divine and perfect and have so much to offer this world and your relationships. So... I'm wishing you the very best. If you like this reading and it resonated with you, you can like or comment below. Subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. Please share this video if it, you think it will help someone um, or it resonated for you, for someone else. So thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. And it looks like it's going to be a powerful, powerful growth and change for you. Um, and I'm wishing you the very best. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to seeing you next time. Blessings.